There are no fat animals in nature, and a couple of hundred years ago there were almost no fat humans either. Think about it. This is the perfect opportunity to discuss why we gain weight. What causes obesity is hotly debated. Eating more calories than you burn. Duh. No, not that, you patronising dipshit. Most scientists agree to that underlying principle. The debate is what actually causes people to eat more energy than they burn. Using the animal example, why do humans have an obesity epidemic when wild animals don't? Well, hand me a cape and call me Captain Obvious for a second. Unlike some wild animals, we aren't catching our own food. And we aren't being eaten if we become slow. If you chill out in the Serengeti with a six pack of beer and a Netflix marathon, a lion will happily come along and fuck your day up faster than you can say human meat snack. So comparing us Domesticated humans to wild animals is apples and oranges. But we can learn something from the animal kingdom. Unlike a wild lion, rodents are easy to study, much smaller, and less likely to rip your head off. So how do you make rats gain weight? You don't tell them to eat more, you just change the food that they eat. Switch their chow and offer them something with more fat and more sugar. Suddenly, they're more inclined to overeat and gain weight. But you can go one step further and offer them a cafeteria diet. Give the rats a selection of donuts, potato chips, flapjacks, chocolate chip muffins, and let them eat as much as they want. They will reliably gain weight. Because these foods have the double combo of being high in calories and fucking delicious. And by giving them a convenient selection of a wide array of foods, it's easier for them to just keep eating. You don't ever tell rats to eat more food. All you need to do is change their immediate food environment and let the inevitable happen. The rats aren't lazy for gaining weight. Their biology reacted with their food environment in a very predictable manner. Make sense? Now, do me a favour. Imagine you were a scientist running an experiment on humans and you wanted the whole planet to gain weight. What would you do? You would change their environment. More technology to encourage sedentary behaviour. Provide a metric fuckload of super delicious ultra processed foods which are high in calories, cheaper to buy and more convenient to eat than ever. Because fruits and vegetables taste like sadness and despair relative to the mouthgasms that multi-billion dollar food corporations can engineer that make you keep going back for more. And when the environment changes that much, some of us are more genetically susceptible to gaining weight than others. Humans gaining weight is not because we suddenly started lacking willpower in the 1970s. It is a surprisingly predictable consequence to the monumental change we have seen in our food environment. And for anyone interested, I talk about this more in my upcoming book.